Is Savannah your favorite vacation spot? So favorite that you're moving here and now you're wondering, where am I gonna vacation? Stay tuned because that's exactly what we're talking about today. Welcome back to the Georgia Coast YouTube channel. My name's Katie and I'm a realtor here in Savannah, Georgia. And today we're gonna to be talking about my five favorite places to vacation within five hours of Savannah. Your mind's about to be blown. So let's start with number one favorite. My favorite place to vacation within five hours of home is Orlando. If you knew me, you would know I am a roller coaster junkie, all things Disney, clearly I wasn't made for being a good one <laughs> Disclaimer, my son hid all his Harry Potter things from me so that I couldn't display them in my video. I love more. But Harry Potter is top of the list favorite thing to do of all times for vacation. Hands down, video's over, cut the feed. No more. Just kidding, I'm back. In Orlando, Disney, Universal, both display the most amazing parks and adventures that you could ever experience, being an adult or a child, I mean, who doesn't like to walk around looking like a snack? Sorry, what? With gustus. Just saying. Who doesn't like wearing Mickey ears with Olaf? Everybody loves summer. That's why they pick Savannah. Because we love summer. It's like Olaf's dream home. Duh. The four parks for Disney are Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, and of course, Hollywood. What kind of theme park would it be if it didn't display Hollywood? Now let's get down to the most amazing part of Orlando, Universal Studios. Universal has three amazing parks, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay. Who doesn't want to ride the mummy? If you've never been to Universal, you need to stop what you're doing, besides watching me. You need to go buy a ticket, and you need to go to Harry Potter World and drink a butter beer. You need to ride Jurassic Park like your life depends on it, and you need to roar on the Hulk like you're about to explode. And then you need to chill at Volcano Bay with some like island breeze drink or something on the lazy river. Harry Potter is definitely my favorite experience. I know every single word to the movies. <laughs> my son and I are reading the books. I love Harry Potter. It is the most magical experience you can ever have. You get to play with wands. You get to eat those nasty jelly beans and play with the magical frogs. Butterbeer, I mean, come on. You get to go in the bank and ride the rides. Who doesn't want to be a part of Harry Potter? Put your hand down, you in the back row. Put it down, put it down. The next best features of Orlando. I love to be able to visit my family that lives in Orlando. My cousin buys me Kiki's breakfast while we're there. Hands down, one of my most favorite places to eat breakfast. We also have other favorite restaurants and I love to take all of the kids to Universal and listen to them smack talk about who's going to scream the loudest, who's the bravest, and try and pretend like they're going to win. And then I like to sit in the back while I dare them to sit at the front of the roller coaster. It's a blast. Who doesn't want to go through that? I mean, it's great. It's fantastic. Hands down, you got to go to Orlando. And it's only four and a half hours away from Savannah. I could literally go to Universal today and still sleep in my own bed tonight. I mean, I wouldn't do that because I, I would be exhausted 
but I, I could if I wanted to. Next place, it's a little bit over five hours, depending on who's driving, is Tampa Bay. If it's me, it'll be a five hour drive. Just gonna point that out there. I love Tampa Bay for Busch Gardens. Yes, if you haven't noticed, I am a theme park queen. Yes, queen. That's me. And if you were born in the 80s or in the 90s and you've never been to a Busch Gardens, somebody wrecked your childhood, pause the video, book your ticket, start your drive, and then press play. And we can resume. Did you press play? Tampa Bay is only five and a half hours technically away from Savannah. It has Busch Gardens, amazing restaurants, and so much fun to fill a vacation. And it's an experience that you should experience. <laughs> if we're sticking with Florida, let's hit Jacksonville next. Jacksonville is only two and a half hours away from Savannah, and it is known for its most beautiful beaches. If we sat here and listed them, we'd be here for an hour because there's so many. If you want a vacation filled with reading books, chilling on the beach, and getting amazing tan lines, make sure Jacksonville's on your list. They have great restaurants, fun activities to do like top golf, theater, and all kinds of different experiences to go along with your beach vacation. Now hurry up and grab your keys. Let's head back to 95. We're gonna hit the opposite direction for South Carolina. Now don't mind me, I'm gonna be biased. It's the South Carolinian in me. I'm just going to say, I love my heritage, y'all. And you know, South Carolina is filled with so many things that are history, food. Who doesn't love Southern cooking? If you don't love Southern cooking, somebody cooked it wrong for you. Just gonna point it out. Sweet tea, I mean, come on, the list is endless, right? So let's go to Charleston, where I was born, definitely one of my favorite places to go. I love Charleston for all of the history that it brings back to life. I love to be able to go through the market and experience everybody's crafts. I have one of the flowers that are handmade in the market downtown Charleston. Charleston's an easy two to two and a half hours away from Savannah. It's an easy day trip or an easy weekend to week trip. Whatever you wanna do, it's easy. I love to know that I can hop in the car and go to Charleston and experience the sun, the shopping, the food. I love to be able to go to Rodney Scott's restaurant and taste the barbecue, drink the sweet tea. I'm gonna mention it again. Southern is the way to go. Last but not least, let's talk about Hilton Head. Again, I'm gonna be a little biased because it's the South Carolinian in me. I have family who lives in Bluffton, so I love the fact that I can drive 45 minutes, spend time with my family, go to tons of different beaches, experience the good seafood, southern food, shopping. If I don't feel like going to Pooler's Tanger Outlets, I can go to Hilton Head's Tanger Outlets. Duh, so easy. Never get bored in Savannah. That is what I'm talking about. The best of both worlds. My favorite beach to visit when we go to Bluffton is going to be Bradley Beach. I love the way that they have the parking set up. I love how family oriented it is. I love that you can take your dogs for walks on the beach. My daughter is obsessed with being able to pet any dog she can get her hands on. Bluffton is not just known for its Tanger Outlet shopping, it also has some really great boutiques for local shopping and some really great amazing restaurants like The First Watch. If you're looking for some great brunch, it's one of my favorite places. You should try it out. And don't forget to experience Hilton Head's Seafood Life. I have a special surprise for you. One of my favorite places to vacation is at home. I love the fact that I have Tanger Outlets, beaches, history, southern food, great shopping, and my own bed. Who doesn't love their own bed? If you don't, you should definitely do some online shopping. But if you're looking for a vacation spot, 
make sure you visit one of the top fives. I'm holding you accountable. If you're thinking about living in Hilton Head, vacationing in Hilton Head, make sure you check out Holly's videos. She's got some great information that talks all about Hilton Head and Bluffton life.